I think we need to understand what that word race even means. Mm -hmm. You know, race is just a visible way that humans have decided that we're going to slice and dice different groups of people, right? Mm -hmm. Race is essentially just skin colour. And it was used in colonial history, basically to allow people to discriminate. But the fact is that race is a biological fiction that has no basis in our genetic code. You know, if it was all about skin color, then what you'd expect is in countries where we know that populations are primarily brown or black, you'd expect their rates of COVID deaths to be through the roof, right? I was wondering that. I mean, you look in Africa, it's not huge. You would expect to see much more impact in, in, in those communities. Exactly. So there's something specific about what happens to people of color in societies like the US and the United Kingdom that's not related to biology, which makes them more at risk of dying from COVID-19. So what other, what other factors might be at play here? To be able to die from COVID-19, you have to catch it first. Now, if you're, for example, a rural farmer in Wales, you're obviously not gonna be exposed to the virus that much. So you can expect that you're probably not gonna get the, the disease. Mm -hmm. But contrast that to a health worker like me, you're in close proximity with people, and also these people probably carry the virus. Mm. So you're automatically you know, gonna be more at risk. Right. So in London, for example, ethnic minorities comprise about 34% of the population, and yet they form almost half of the people who are involved in health work like me, more than half of the people who are involved in food production, and almost half of people who are transport workers. Front-facing key worker role. Exactly. Black workers are often more at risk because you're on the front line and you're in those places where you can actually catch coronavirus in the first place. Right. And so what about the uh, NHS? Obviously, there are key workers, a lot of key workers in that organisation. Black and Asian people, we form 14% of the population, and yet we are actually make up 21% of the NHS workforce. So a little bit more than you might expect. Mm -hmm. And yet 63% of health workers who have died from this disease are from those groups. This is really stark, actually. It's really quite shocking when you see it like this. So for me, as a doctor, it gets even worse. People of colour, we are 44% of all the doctors in the NHS. And yet, of all the doctors who have died from coronavirus, 95% are people of colour. 95%? 95%. So the British Medical Association is taking these occupational factors very seriously and is doing a survey to find out could there be a difference in the way that people of colour are working that means that they are more at risk of getting this disease? And it's very preliminary data, but it looks like there might be. People of colour are more likely to be in frontline roles, more exposed to the virus, whereas white people are more likely to be in management roles, away from the, the virus. Right. There's also this issue of personal protective equipment. There's data to suggest that 63% of doctors who are people of colour feel like they are not empowered to be able to talk about the safety of their working conditions compared to just 33% of white doctors. So they don't, they don't, feel, they don't feel they can ask for the, the right equipment? Exactly. And they're not feeling like they're going to be heard by the people who are running their service. That's shocking. That's really shocking. 